if the circuit in this diagram is broken at point A right here, how will the current through the battery change? So in this circuit, we have three resistors that are in parallel with one another. And we're asked if the circuit is broken here, which effectively removes the third resistor from the circuit, how is the current going to change through the battery? Well, there's a couple pieces of information that we know that we can use to help figure this out. The first is that resistors that are in parallel are related through uh, the relationship 1 over RT, or the total resistance, or the equivalent resistance, is equal to 1 over the resistors that are in parallel added together. So if we think about all three of our resistors in our circuit now, this is the equation that describes them. There's another thing that we know. We are looking to determine how the current is going to change across the battery. So imagine we put a voltmeter in right here. And we measure um, the voltage. We can determine the current through the battery if we know the equivalent resistance. That comes from Ohm's law, V equals IR. And if we solve for I, we get V, or the voltage of the battery, divided by RT. In other words, the total resistance in the circuit. So if we can determine the total resistance and how it changes when we cut the circuit at A, we can determine how that's going to affect this total resistance and therefore how that will affect the current I. So looking at our equation over here, if we were to get rid of the third resistor, because that's what's happening when we break the circuit at point A, that's going to essentially decrease the number on this right hand side, right? Because we're adding, we're not adding this little extra bit anymore. It's getting completely, uh, it's getting, being gotten rid of. And what that's going to do is when we uh, solve for RT and we actually put it in the numerator instead of the denominator, RT is actually um, going to change. How? Well, if we say, think about this as uh, 1 over RT, and then we have our 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3, um, we have some number, but that number has decreased. Okay? Because we aren't adding this R1 over R3. But if we solve for RT, then we have to put the 1 over the decreased number, which is just a smaller number in the denominator. And if this number is smaller, then what that means is RT is actually going to increase. Right? If we have a smaller number in the denominator, it means that RT is going to increase. So coming back to our equation describing the current across the battery, if RT increases, that's going to make I, the current across the battery, smaller. It will decrease, right? Um, the current is doesn't have three paths that it can go through anymore. Uh, it only has two paths that it can go through now. And if you think about it like traffic, which is a classic analogy, um, there's less paths for the cars to go on, less roads, and so it becomes more congested and the current or the flow slows down and decreases.